Here are true facts about the owl. Baby owls are called owlets, and they look like a cotton ball that grew a face and legs. Owlets are born without flight feathers, and because they are vulnerable, they camouflage themselves as muppets. The owl has large front-facing eyes, which give it a wide range of binocular vision. Its eyes are nearly immobile in their sockets, and therefore it must swivel its head around its neck to see. Some owls bob their heads up and down in order to maximize their depth perception. Try it right now. Focus on an object and bob your head up and down. That's right, keep bobbing your head. It doesn't really work for humans, but you do look like an idiot. As the owl grows older, it develops its flying feathers, and oh my, that's cute. <laughs> He's like a little baby. <laughs> He likes being pet. It's really the eyes, isn't it? It's adorable. Oh, look, this one's playing with his friend. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing to that bird? Crap, you're not playing with... Don't try to hide it. I already saw it. Despite its cuddly appearance beneath those fluffy feathers, the owl is what we call a bird of prey. Because it eats prey. Just as the owls call us apes of the hamburger. Because we eat hamburgers. The owl is a specialized hunting machine. Its talons are zygodactyl, two in front, two in back, and their grip is the strongest of the raptors. 500 pounds per square inch, eight times stronger than the human. Just for the record, this is why we wear a glove. They crush their victims, then tear off little strips before swallowing them whole, digesting them, and then vomiting out the bones and fur in a small pellet. And this is why it's polite to throw up at an owl dinner party. The owl is a quiet hunter. It has specialized feathers on the front of its wings that reduce turbulence and allow it to fly in relative silence. If silence were loudness, they would be the loudest flying bird. That's, that's a terrible metaphor. The owl's face is basically like a giant ear. The specialized feathers of its facial disc channel sound to its ear holes like a fuzzy satellite dish. Oh, that's nasty. Yep, that's an ear hole. Many owls have asymmetrical ear holes. One is higher than the other. By sensing tiny differences in the delay and volume of sound as it arrives in each ear, the owl is able to create a three-dimensional auditory map of its surroundings. Try riding a bicycle at night and picking up a moving burrito with your feet based on the sound that it makes. That is how an owl do. When they aren't being quiet, owls make a wide variety of sounds. Perhaps the most famous of these sounds is the sound made by some owls. It reminds me of the fairy tale, where a young girl is lost in the forest, and she sees an owl and asks it, Do you know where my mother is? And the owl responds, Why the hell would I know where your mother is? Are you stupid? And why are you fairy tale children always getting lost in forests and hallucinating about animals that can talk? And then the owl swooped down and ripped the little girl's face off and ate her eyeballs. And then the owl hooted. Hoo hoo. It's a German fairy tale, so it's a little dark, I guess. Maybe it's the translation. Nope, not the translation. It says right here, rips her face off. Oh, oh God, there's even a picture. Just remember, don't do drugs, because an owl may just rip your face off. Oh, that's a silly beak. Come on, silly beak. Where's that silly beak? There we go. We're gonna get your silly beak. Hmm? Get that silly beak. Yeah, so good boy. Now he's gonna get me. <laughs>